when I make videos talk about dealing with invisible challenges or invisible disabilities, whatever term you prefer, both are perfectly fine in my opinion, dealing with things such as ADHD, learning disabilities, aspects of the autistic spectrum, and much more than that. It's a very broad term, invisible challenge, invisible, invisible disability. I talk from my own experience in dealing with these challenges. And the thing about my so-called behavioral problems growing up, and I realized that by nature, I'm a more aggressive person than I've turned out to be. I think if you know me in real life, you'll be surprised by me saying that. But I believe that the aggressive nature of myself has been trained out of me to make me become the passive, almost docile person that I've become. And I realized that the sports I always, I've always liked, football, basketball, and boxing are sports where, first of all, skill, talent, coordination is always key. But being aggressive in these sports can make up for a lack of iron coordination, a lack of talent, a lack of skill, a lack of ability, whatever term you, you prefer. Now, I'm not saying I would have been like an all-star or even like first string at anything if my parents allowed me to channel my energy into these sports. But I do believe my life would be better off if they have. I have strong opinions about therapy for kids. I feel that for adults, cool, you're, you're a consistent adult, you're going to therapy on your own, own free will and accord. That's cool, but I, I think when you send your kid to therapy, you're sending your kid to therapy for yourself. And my own personal experience of you're just going to therapy, being forced to go to therapy, there is nothing you can say that will change my mind. But my point is that had my energy been, been focused in the sports, particularly sports where being aggressive can make up for a lack of the eye hand coordination and skill and talent that I obviously lack, my life would be better. I always say, be supportive and encouraging if your kids interested just goals and ambitions. And sometimes it's just because that's the best therapy for them. That's how they're going to learn to behave in this world. I'm out of time. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk soon.